What's going on guys? Young Buckets here. And today I'm gonna to talk a little bit about the performance aspects of the Jordan Why Not 0.2 which is Russell Westbrook's second signature basketball sneaker with Jordan brand. So first of all, Jordan brand sent these to us about three weeks ago. And since that time, it's been my top sneaker in my on-court rotation. My main basketball sneakers over the past year or so have been the LeBron 12 Soldier and the Nike Kyrie 4, but they are both pretty worn down at this point and I was looking for a new pair of sneakers to take that number one spot, so thanks to them. And you know I like to discuss size first because in my opinion, fit and sizing is the most important piece of information in regards to performance and basketball. They fit true to size for me. I am a size 13. These are a size 13. I don't have wide feet. I don't have flat feet. I don't have particularly high arches. It's a pretty standard foot. If you have any questions on how they'll fit you, I'd suggest you go into a store and try a pair on. If a sneaker doesn't fit, then you can't even properly use the tech that a sneaker has to offer. Like if the ball of your foot isn't over the air unit in the forefoot, then you aren't going to get the benefits of that air unit. It's just that simple. I like the lockdown on these. It's kind of a beefy sneaker, but you can really lace these very tight. And I didn't feel any kind of pinching or anything like that. I haven't experienced any heel slippage either, so that's good. The traction is more than adequate. I had to wipe my feet at a couple different points, but as far as being able to slide my feet, or make cuts, or change directions, It was good to go. Like I feel confident in any movement I was trying to make on a basketball court. The impact protection also feels good. I'm not dunking from the foul line or anything crazy, but I do jump and dunk and landing always felt good. And I actually judge impact protection a lot on how my knees feel the next day. I've had two surgeries on my left knee, so sometimes the next day it can feel a little stiff or a little banged up. Not the case with these. Knees have always felt good. The one negative thing on this sneaker, which for me isn't a negative, but I can see how it would be for some people, is that there isn't much ankle support. That's not something I worry about. Like a little bit of mesh on the ankle isn't going to stop an ankle from rolling if you land on someone's foot. But I do understand that a lot of people like that secure feeling up on the ankle. I don't mind that feeling, but I also don't need that feeling. And sometimes it can actually hinder some ankle mobility, which I don't like, and these don't do that. The last thing to discuss would be the weight. They are a little heavy. Again, that's not something that I mind, but it should be stated that it's not a light sneaker. You can see by looking at it that it's a little bit bulky. So if you are someone that likes light, light sneakers, these might not be the shoe for you. That's really it. It's been my favorite sneaker to play in since I got them. Let us know what sneaker you wanna see a test or an update on next in the comments below. That's all I got for now. Thank you for joining us here at the workshop. Until next time, see you later.